Do you want to start your own detail and review channel? We're going to meet someone that has, and you can check it out straight after this. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details. We bring you car care and detail related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your detailing questions. So for a little while I've had this idea of bringing other people from the YouTube community onto the channel, having a conversation so that you guys can meet them and see how they might be able to make your lives better via YouTube. And hopefully there's something to do with the detailing community. And popping up quite a bit is these detailing review channels. And when I was at Waxstock, I managed to meet up with Luke from Tranquility Based Detailing. Luke, how you doing my man? Hey Alan, thanks very much for having me on your channel. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey Luke, no worries at all. Thank you for doing this cheeky little interview. So, Tranquility Based Detailing, what is it? Well, it started as a, uh, a love, a passion of cleaning my car. Uh, I thought, you know, I'm cleaning my car often. I've got new products arriving, so maybe people will want to see it. So I filmed it, I put it all together, I put it out there, and it seemed to have found an audience. So it's nothing more than that. It's just a hobbyist and enthusiast having a go. That's so cool. I love the fact, actually, of how honest and how raw your channel is, much like my own. Why, though, did you turn to YouTube? It was a new challenge. I, I, you know, I like performing, a magician as a, a side hobby. Uh, it just gave me a new, a new platform, something new where I could engage and learn a new skill that is filmmaking whilst still enjoying the hobby that I enjoyed that I was able to uh, do every week. So it just gave me something to approach that was a new challenge for me. Nice. So when we were chatting before this interview, you were telling me that you actually have never asked for a product for free and putting yourself on YouTube has then allowed smaller channels and smaller business to see you hand them your products so that you can give these honest raw reviews. Did you just start this from nothing like we shoot on your camera phone or have you always had cameras? What's your routine? For anyone that's watching my channel right now and fancies having a go at doing it what you're doing, how do they start? Where do they progress? It was one of those things where I started with a Samsung S4. Uh, you know, I didn't want to put any money into it because I was already putting my money into buying waxes and other products and things like that. Um, I was very lucky in the early days. I won some competitions and I had some things coming my way. So it gave me some new things to try out. But I didn't want to invest in camera, lighting, setup, microphones. So we've all got a, a phone in our pocket. I picked that up. I started editing. And this is how basic it was. I edited everything down on that camera. I put it all together, uploaded it all to YouTube, all without a laptop, a computer, anything like that. That's how simple this can be. On your phone? On my phone. It took hours. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Editing is not an easy thing and I actually do it on a computer. You mentioned that it takes a lot of time. This isn't your full-time job, is it? No, it's, uh, I'm, I'm a salesman by trade. A lot you probably can tell anyway, the way I kind of conduct myself and, uh, and the way I talk. Um, I've actually been in furniture sales pretty much since I left school. You know, I traveled around all the different furniture companies and uh, really just done that. It's very similar in terms of a job of interacting with people, asking them questions, getting feedback, and it, it really relates itself well to a YouTube channel, actually. So are you telling me you work for one of them companies where uh, there's always a sale on? There's always a sale on. Yeah, I work for one of those companies. <laughs> Fantastic, Luke, that's ace. Also, something I quite like interesting about you is you have a little something else on the side. You do magic, right? I do, and I've done that for, I'd say maybe about 10, 12 years at this point. And, and like most things in life, and I'm a big advocate of this, of just having a go, the family have always played cards, have always played poker, and a cousin of mine, he liked to wind me up that I was cheating when I was having my go dealing. So how's this for a, a practical joke? I learned how to do card cheating and card magic purely to wind up one man, uh, and it ballooned into this. I joined the Leicester Magic Circle, uh, I've enjoyed it for a lot of years, and it's again a great hobby to have if you do want to engage in people, it's great at building uh, relationships and and really you know fantastic way to show off which I think is one of the, the attractions for me towards magic <laughs> I reckon that's the best gag ever so you've done the magic your salesman this is not your full-time job what actually is your channel well the channel it evolved from a review channel it started to grow some legs and it, it's moved into education as well there's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of bad information, there's a lot of opinion, and opinion isn't fact. So I like going through that, finding a common thread, fi finding a theme through something, simplifying it, and passing that all back to the audience. And if that helps people at home enjoy detailing more, or you know maybe spend less money on a lot of unnecessary products, then that's all the better for them and for the industry. It should really include more people, and they shouldn't be put off by 
potentially the myriad of information that, that is a little bit intimidating. So for me, that's where it's gone. It's an educational thing with a lot of reviews thrown in as well. Nice. I actually like to do that quite a lot via my vlogs. What I like to do is try and give people how we do things here at AM Details and try and give them a bit of fact about uh, what is going on with the products and stuff that's in the industry. Building that community around the detailing industry, but also to have good debate. I think there's a good thing for having good debate. Two people can have the right answer, and as long as they both agree about that and they're doing the things the same way, then there is not a, there's not a wrong. As long as you say, as long as technically you get through all the baffle, and you get to the facts. Luke, where do you see this channel growing? You're currently sat at 771 subscribers. That's epic. And if I'm right, you're on your first birthday, right? Yeah, it's just rolled over one year for the channel on the 29th of July. Um, it's been a fast year, it's gone quick. Uh, the first early stages, you know, really took a little bit of time to get some traction, but the thing's motoring at this point. Where do I see it going? Um, bigger, that, that's probably the only way I could put it. I want more people on board so that more people can see that this is as a hobby and as a business, it's there for everyone and it should be enjoyed. And if I can do my bit to help educate people and introduce them to new brands, these smaller brands, these people that maybe don't get the exposure that they're after, then that really is gonna fulfill what I want for the channel in the future. Nice, I like the direction your channel's going in, most definitely. Also building the community and giving the people those Fact, breaking that down, there is, it really is a big massive plethora of information out there. So it just shows the whole AMD audience, if they check out Luke's channel, they're gonna get the fact and it might give you a bit of direction. And that's how I met Luke actually, because he was in the AMD details community, consuming other videos about detailing, consuming other stuff on YouTube, commenting in the comments on my channel, I personally make a huge effort to comment back to everyone or at least read all the informative or proper messages, I delete the spam ones, and get back to you guys. And that's how I found Luke. And then reached out to Luke because he had some great content, but I wanted to show him some of my YouTube tips using things like TubeBuddy and making the tags and title stuff brilliant. Stuff that you will see that I learned from Nick Nimmin, ding, which I will link up there. But Luke, how has a tool like TubeBuddy helped you with your channel and increase the views and the reach of your videos? So yeah, when you reached out to me, Alan, and you gave me the advice that really the channel was missing, the TubeBuddy fit into what I was able to do to a point, but it fine-tuned it all. It helped me out with you know, tagging the videos and getting the descriptions right, putting everything in place. But I tell you what it did, I saw an immediate spike in the number of subs that I was getting, the number of interactions, uh, the involvement, and growing my own community within the overall overarching community. As a tool goes, it's one of those where I'm, I'm even confident enough to recommend it onwards to other people. Uh, I think it's invaluable. I think, you know, if you are serious about YouTube, you should have it. Hey Luke, no worries. I'm glad I was able to help you out. I'm literally just passing on information that I have learned myself. And that, again, is massively what this community is all about. One thing I want to do with this feature for everyone that's on here and getting interviewed on the YouTube spectrum is pass on the information, encourage more people to come onto this platform, encourage more people to build this community, especially around the detailing, but around any genre that you work. So Luke, a question for you is, you are one year on and you've got 700 subscribers, but if you could go all the way back to day one when you started, what tips would you give yourself? Uh, so many. Um, for me, early doors, the one thing that really sped up the process for me was actually putting a little bit of money into it. So I did put a bit of money into a camera and into a laptop. Now I'm not talking silly money, but if you can give yourself a streamlined work process, it's gonna help you get content onto YouTube quicker and that's gonna help you. Yeah, I agree with that one, as in I had to go and buy some gear as well at the start. When I was first doing it, I had my camera stuff and I sent it to Daniel, but then I had to start editing and I only had a desktop computer at work. You guys know the hours I put in and even when I'm back at home. So I went and bought myself a MacBook Pro so I could edit there and it definitely made my workflow easier. But as he says, there's no need to commit to spending that money. We just need to make that workflow easier because editing does take time. You need to get a process and fly through it. Absolutely, Alan, could not agree more. The second tip I would give you is this. There are tools that are out there that make the process easier. For example, we've already spoke about TubeBuddy. I wish someone could have told me 12 months ago that existed. It's made tagging and building my videos easier. It's helped the channel grow. It's helped me to market the videos. So that would be the second tip is look at the tools that are out there. You may have to invest a small, and I'm talking a tiny amount of money in some of them, but they are worth it if you want to take this seriously and you want the channel to grow. Excellent tip, sir. Yeah, so I passed that one on to Luke and the moment he absorbed it, his channel grew massively. There are things out there to help you guys out. 
You really do need to get the market inside of your YouTube channels nailed in, which is getting your descriptions, your titles, and your tags. There are tools out there to help you. That is the Tube Buddy, and you can see it in the description down below. But there's also things like Morning Fame, which is another great one, I'll put it down below, where 24 hours after your video, it shows you how your views were, how your acceleration was. Guys, you gotta go and check it out. We're not here to talk about it in this video, but getting the applications out there to help you guys out is a tip that Luke would give himself in the future. Luke, what else you got? Well, the third tip I would give is this, know how to market yourself. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter what industry you're in, whether it's detailing or something completely left uh, field. There are groups, pages, forums. There are places where these people go to talk about these hobbies like yourself. So you should invest yourself some time in those. Join those communities and invite those communities into your community. Uh, you have the videos, they're gonna wanna see them, but until they know they exist, they're not gonna be part of your viewership. So go invest yourself in these groups uh, and bring them on board to what you're doing. That one, Luke, is a biggie. And as I say, Nick Nimmin pushes that one massively. It's something I'm quite bad for not doing. Time, as you guys know, is not something I have on my side when I run around doing these vlogs, but we're working on getting the members of staff needed so that we can join these communities and actually be an active part. I think that's a key word, being an active part of that community. There's no much point joining Detailing World or joining some sort of detailing Facebook page and just spamming your videos in there every time you've got a video. You have to commit, you have to great conversations, you have to be an active member of these and then people will see you as an authority on there so when you're sharing your videos, they will engage, share and work for your videos. Top, top tip, Luke. Have you got anything else? No, I would say those would be the three key tips that I would like to give me a year ago. Market yourself, make sure your workflow is easy, uh, and use the tools that are available. It will make the whole process of joining YouTube actually very simplistic. Luke, this is amazing. I hope this first video and turns out really well for you guys watching the channel. If people wanna go and check you out at Tranquility Based Detailing, Luke, where can they find you? Now, the best place to find me is typically Facebook and Instagram. That being said, I'm on YouTube, as you know, and I'm happy to answer as many comments as you guys can put in my direction. But if you wanna to go to uh, facebook.com forward slash tranquility based detailing, the same instagram.com forward slash tranquility based detailing, uh, and you'll find me on there. Engage, send me some messages, tag me in some photos. I'd love to take part in what you guys are doing as well. Sweet. That is Epic Luke, thank you so much for being here. And if you guys are a company that wanna get your gear a little bit of exposure, why not go and check out Luke and send him some stuff as he never asks. Everything that's on his channel, guys, has been sent to him, so he must be doing something right. So that is it, I hope you guys have enjoyed this new kind of style I'm trying. Do you wanna see more of it? Let me know down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, then I am Alan at AM Details, where we bring you car care and detailing related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your detailing questions. And over here are two videos chosen just for you. Ciao.